All right, Math 186 students. All right, next I will be um, looking at this? page 116, 117, 118. These are your, um, the next assignment so for I'm changing the following units of metric length volume metric weight uh, miscellaneous conversions um, using Roman numerals and symbols and solving the following okay so what I want you to use let me get this stuff out of the way we're gonna be using this table that I gave you in class this table here and what I did was I just went in the book and uh, got all a lot of this stuff on online as well. Um, okay, just in case you need to screenshot it. Um, so this is what we will be using. So for example, on number one, it says um, change the following units of metric length. So we're going to change 7.43 um, millimeters. All right. Or we say seven and forty-three hundredths of a millimeter. All right, equals how many meters? You're gonna come over here. We're just gonna look at this one. We're gonna just count. Okay, we're just gonna count where the decimal is. All right, so millimeters to meters. All right, so we'll come up here, find our millimeters, which is here, mm. All right, and we're trying to get to here. So notice. The direction all right so let's just count and we're going to the left one two three all right going to the left one two and three so I'm gonna do the same thing here in my problem we're just moving decimals all right so I'm here so we're moving one two and three so all these blank spaces I'm sorry y'all we're gonna fill them in with zeros so the answer will be point zero zero seven four three point zero zero seven four three okay which is also in the back of your text okay so far so good okay told you it was fairly easy look at number five next section all right we're they want us to go from uh 35 and six tenths of a milligram equals how many grams so 35.6 milligrams how many grams so milligrams to grams all right so i'm looking for mg so we're gonna we're looking here looking for mg have you noticed it yet all right so millimeter milliliter milligram all fall in this same conversion unit i can use the unit all right milligram is what i'm looking for okay so if you're looking for millimeter milliliter or milligram you're going to start right here you can use it the same all right so milliliter uh, where are we going y'all what number? Okay, we're here. Oh, I skipped. I'm sorry. That was number nine. All right, let me go back up. I'm sorry. Uh, one and sixty-four hundred milliliter. All right, two deciliter. Okay, so let's go here. All right, so milliliter to deciliter. So milliliter, and the deciliter is right here. So we're moving one, two. So come over here to your paper, and we are moving. One, two, and fill this blank space in with a zero. So the answer is point zero one six four. Okay. okay. I'm sure most of you probably hate have that anyway, but I just like to make you know I like to go over things. All right, next milligram to gram. Milligram is here, and we are going to gram, which is here. All right, milligram to gram. All right, so here, so we're going to go one, two, and three. So three to the left. Okay. So one, as you can see, one, two, and three. Fill that blank space in with a 0 0.0356. Okay, so I figured, yeah, I will be able to get these fairly easy fairly easy okay what number are we on now okay let's look at 17 17 let me see 
All right. Now, 17 was a bit tricky because you have to really look in your textbook to find the um, microgram, microgram MCG. Okay. So, on your paper here, let me tell you what that MCG is, just so you'll know the units. 1,000, all right, micrograms, okay, is equal to one milligram that's something you definitely need to know in nursing um but you have to really look for it in your textbook okay because they have the the tables on at least five or six different pages so remember that 1000 um micrograms is equal to one milligram okay so let me help you set up 17. all right so if we're going to set up like a proportion because of course the problems get just a little bit more um, difficult as you move forward. So 1000 mcg, okay, over one milligram, just like we did the tablets and the dosage that we were just doing earlier. Okay, all right, we're going to match units equals four milligrams. So the milligrams goes here in your denominator spot and the x goes here. Okay, we're going to cross multiply. Okay, so 1,000 times 4 is 4,000 micrograms times milligram. And then 1 times X is just X or 1X times the milligrams. Okay, next, I want the X, but I want you to get rid of everything around. So let's get rid of the 1 milligram. Okay. Those will cancel out. We know those cancel, leave me with X, and that's what I wanted. And these milligrams will cancel out. So 4,000 divided by 1 is still 4,000. And that is your answer. Okay. Zoom it in here so you can see that. Okay. On 40. One, let me get 41, and they want just a quick, just how to write, and this is also in your text. So three grains, you write that as, of course, with grains, you're going to write the GR first, and then the three I's to indicate this means three grains. So that's it with that one. Okay, and I'm sure you already know what your quartz all right, which is also uh, in your textbook, that if you got eight quarts, it's going to be um, equivalent to two gallons, okay, like two gallons of milk, okay, and it's just your basic household metric units that you would use um, at home. So I hope this helps um, on page uh, 116 and 117. So have a good rest of your day.